Hello everyone and welcome back to Polly's Pretties. This is Tuesday, September 5th. And tonight I thought I'd come and share with you some strange flowers that I made. Why do I call them strange? Because they're not your normal run-of-the-mill flower. These are, excuse me, sorry. Started out steampunk, then I went all over the map, kind of. So here's the steampunk version I started with. And I took and punched out the paper pieces, but I watercolored a folder, a file folder, a manila file folder. Then I punched out the pieces with some paper punches. Um, I actually still have them. The small flower is this one. And then the large flower is from Punch Bunch, and it's this one. So I used two of these, one of these per flower. Then what I did was took for this one, this is like a Halloween-y I guess it's supposed to be like spider webbing that's white. And I used it in between, cut a little chunk and used it, and then a steampunk button, and that made this one. And I made a couple of them, and they are different colored, because I was using, like I said, watercolored paper. These ones here, again, steampunk, same kind of deal. And they have a different steampunk gear. And then I did two heart-shaped steampunk ones, um, where the button that I used for the center is heart-shaped. And then I did a ton of these littler ones like this, all with the same gear. So there's two, three, four, there's six of those like that. And then I went off the beaten path and I started doing those with regular buttons that I have that are flower-shaped. So there's a pink, and there's a purple, and then I went off the beaten path more and I didn't use any of the filler in the center and just made them like this. And I made a yellow and an orange. Then I went off the beaten path a little more. <laughs> I took a piece of ribbon I had that had glitter in the ribbon and used it and cut it in a circle to put on these ones. And I used buttons. And then for the last two, I went back to the steampunk button, but I didn't use the same filler. I used an orange, almost Halloween-like filler. And those were the ones I made tonight. So I think they turned out really cute and it gave me the steampunkish kind of look I was looking for where it has the different colors. Nothing is set in stone of one certain color. And it allowed me to use up some things that have been sitting in my stash for a little while. So I'm really happy about that. I hope this list gave you some ideas on some ways to make some interesting flowers for your scrapbooks or junk journals or what have you. And I hope that you enjoyed how they looked. I had a lot of fun making these. I'll probably end up making more at some point. Not tonight. I have other things I gotta do because I gotta get ready for an appointment tomorrow. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed these and I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday wherever you are. Our Tuesday has been very warm. Yes, very. Uh, I hope that you will please remember you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are loved. If someone should say different, they're telling you a falsity. Please pay it forward when you can. You don't know when you might need it back. Be kind till there's a reason not to be kind. Stay safe. The world's crazy enough. Hug your loved ones. It's good for them. It's good for you. It's medically proven. And gently hug your fur babies. Until next time, thank you for spending a bit of your day with me. And I hope we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.